Greetings, divine co-creators of the new earth, heaven on earth, rising into the field of paradise found. We are anchoring in the new Edenic codes of heaven on earth. Today, a very auspicious day, 323 23rd of March, we have the 3322 activation portal. Also, the true queen has arisen. The goddess is fully activated on this auspicious day. It is a good day, and on this day I will transmit to you some esoteric knowledge, being that we are now anchoring in the full new Lemurian goddess codes into the field of the new earth. The Magdalene energies, the Magdalene codes are resonating through the gold rose ray of every living being's threefold flame. Today is the day of liberty, of a divine abundance, Kin 99 Blue Galactic Storm. I transmit to you now the esoteric gnosis of the Taoist lineages of the 99, the 99 sky beings, the 99 caves. Within the brain, the upper Dantian, the Shen Dantian, the gate of the spirit, we have nine holes in the brain, nine caves. The one in the center we call the crystal palace. This is where the pineal and the pituitary pulsate in this temple, in this palace, the crystal palace, and surrounding the palace are eight portals. And there are 11 dimensions to our human vessel, our multidimensional vessel. So when we activate the 11 by 9, the 99, we become a true person, a true and whole human being of the light, living 100% from our heart center. All portals lead back to the center, to the middle, to the middle Dantian, to the heart center, to the zero point, the singularity, the still white magnetic light at the center of all things being activated in you now. It is always activated, but we fell into a type of sleep, a type of slumber. This was the amnesia people talk about. Forgetting our true self to experience what we are not so we can remember who we are. And that is infinite, multidimensional beings of light, eternal life, eternal light, the unborn mind of Buddha, the Christ consciousness, the God consciousness, cosmic consciousness goes by many names, but all fingers pointing to the same moon, to the same source, to the same illumination, the same enlightenment. All beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas, and that pure awareness converts to the three hells through the false programming of the matrix that is what's symbolized by the fall from grace, falling into sin as the sine wave, it is the pulse of the universe, and it is time, it is a simulation of time, of linear time, we navigate between the paradox. It is a quanta flashing in between emptiness into form, form into emptiness. And that's why things appear to be moving when only stillness is real. Only love is real. Only purity, innocence, divinity is real. Everything else is a simulation. Not that it is good, bad, right or wrong, but it is energy. It is God in motion, which is the I am presence, the I am that is here now in the sacred vessel, the I am that is experiencing this reality that creates perception, that manifests through our thought, through our minds, through our awareness. And that's why it is up to us as conscious co-creators of the new earth to manifest the paradise we were always looking for that eternal bliss consciousness, and we do this by seeking the kingdom of heaven within, and that is the I am presence that's here now that resonates from the center out into the ends of the universe, that is the infinitely expanding creator source manifest through the sacred vessel, this temple, this portal we call the human vessel. All right, now 144 coming in. Today, over the last 24 hours, we had multiple blasts coming in in the Schumann resonance. Today, with the 23 hertz, if you look at yesterday, over the last 24 hours, the symbolism that appeared on the Schumann charts looks to me like an upside-down Jed symbol from ancient Egypt. And the Jed, spelled D-J-E-D, symbolizes a sacred pillar. Many people see this as 
energy devices or technology. It is a sacred symbol in the hieroglyphs representing stability. Stability is like the foundation, it is the power, it is the source, just like the electricity. It's associated with the creator god Ta and Osiris, the Egyptian god of the afterlife, the underworld, and the dead. Very powerful symbol and is also connected to the sacred symbol of the Ankh, the source of life, the source of light, the resonating chamber in the middle, the heart center. Also connected to the divine feminine, the waters of life, the Ankh, the feminine, the Jid, the masculine, the external, the feminine, the internal, the non-physical, the non-linear, masculine, the Yang, the physical, the external, the linear time. And when this symbol appeared through this frequency, it was at 37 hertz amplitude, 37, for those that follow this channel know that this is the mirror of the 73, 73 heaven, 37 earth. So we connect the two together. We reconnect. This is through grace. This is through divinity, through love, through truth, through our heart center to merge heaven and earth together to create the final culmination point, the final omega point. This is the end of the beginning. The beginning becomes the end. This is where the two come together in divine union. This is Heros Gamos, the eagle and the condor fly together freely in true unconditional love. Today at Walela come multiple times and as the sunlight hit her, the green iridescence reflected and today it was of a golden throat and golden crown. So this is symbolized of the golden city at the center, the central sun, the great central sun, Hunabku. The Hu, the Na, the Ku, coming together, the Trinity, the Trident, come together as the one, the threefold flame into the one divine flame of the Christos, conscious beings of light, the crystalline DNA of the 144, activating 73, coming in with the 33. And of course, over the last 24 hours, we had 117 M1.5, 117, the 17 and the 71. 17 of the Quele, source, the Q, the quantum, the breaking free of all timelines, all time loops, through the sine wave, the rise and fall, the pulse of manifesting our pure love, our true love, our true life. The most powerful today, 5.4 in Greenland Sea, the Council of Nine coming in. The whole ring of fire lit up again. We had this wave of energy that flowed through Europe, from Greece and the Mediterranean, through the Middle East, and through Asia, through the East. Our brothers and sisters of the East, uh, through Europe, Asia, Middle East. And this started in Greece, in the sacred portal. And these were connected through all the sacred mountains, through the Pindos Mountains, into the Zagros Mountains of Iran, the Middle East, then up through Hindu Kush Mountains, Afghanistan, in through the Himalayans, the Kunlun, into Tian Shan and Xinjiang province, up into the Altai Mountains of Mongolia. We had a 4.7-1446. This is also connected to the Yablonavi Range. All these mountains are connected. We have the three sacred, the Tian Shan, the Kunlun, and the Himalayan with these powerful activations coming in the sacred portal. Fiji, we had 4-4. Four, four. Colombia, South America, 4-8. Peru, 4-6. The Kundalini of Pachamama. The activation in Iran, 4.3. In the Zagros Mountains, Vanuatu, and the Ring of Fire, 5-0. Then we had the 5-4 in Greenland Sea. The upper Dantian, the crown, the Philippines, and the ring of fire, 4-4. Four, four. Puerto Rico, Atlantean energy, 3-1. Then the Afghanistan activation, 4.3. Russia, Kamschakta, 4.0, 137 kilometers depth, 37 into the 73 heaven on earth. Helton, Oklahoma, 3-0. Tajikistan in the sacred portal where the Trinity, the Trident, Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain, Kunlun, Himalayan come together. 4.2, Indonesia, 4.9. Then we had a 5.4, another 5.4 activation in China. Yingbaja, China. 
Council of Nine coming in Searles Valley, California 3.1, and then in the Sacred Portal, Central America, Guatemala 4.9, the 13 of the Divine Goddess on the Ring of Fire, on the border of Chiapas, Mexico, in the Sierra Madre de Chiapas mountain range, all the mountains, the sacred mountains, connected to our celestial brothers and sisters of the light and the ascended masters, the great white brotherhood and the sisterhood of the rose, all rising up together through this great ascension process. Today, from the Sabian symbols, right now the moon at 1 degrees 33 minutes Leo, sun at 3 degrees 37 minutes Aries, we have the 33 and the 37, the double 33 of the 6-6 portal of the 12 of the Divine Feminine, the current Sabian symbol for the sun, 4 degrees Aries, two lovers strolling through a secluded walk, and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 2 degrees Leo, an epidemic of mumps from astrologyweekly.com. And remember, a portal was open during the last epidemic. Now, from my divine sacred condor, she pulled another card today for all of you. From the deck, your path through the enchanted forest, from Lunea Weatherstone, the card she pulled today was three of visions. Even in the enchanted forest, this is a remarkable sight. What appears at first to be a rumble of aggressive bears is revealed to be quite the opposite. Bedecked with garlands of blackberry brambles, three bewitched bears are dancing together in celebration. What are they celebrating? It's a beautiful day in the forest, and they are bears. What could be better than that? They dance barefoot on a carpet of wood violets that release their sweetness on the air, adding to the delight of the day. You don't have to be a bear to know that making time for friendship is as important as any other aspect of life. If you've been neglecting your connections to friends, now is the time to make it a priority. Gather with those who know you well and with whom you can be yourself. You don't need a special occasion. The time you spend in good company is a celebration in itself. Meaning at a glance, friendship, pastime with good company, playfulness, laughter, the delights of companionship. A closer look, wood violets are a symbol of gentle kindness in the language of flowers. Violets say, would you like to be my friend? But of course, little violet. <laughs> Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Rhea, Aurora, Athena, Ash. Dear hearts, as we flow off the back of the equinox energies, I'm energetically feeling on individuated and collective basis that it looks like we have two potential timelines playing out in the collective right now. And remember, we can shift into the right timeline moment to moment depending on what frequency we hold within the moment and within our polarity fields centralized in zero point. Remember, we, the light workers, also act as conduits. We are a finite line or a golden bridge, rainbow bridge, connecting like a bridge the two time wave timelines that coexist side by side in timeline stacks. We dear hearts act as the bridge between the timeline stacks to lead by example, to bring the collective onto the higher timeline as we continue to hold the divine ascension blueprints. We must continue the ever flow, ebbing and flowing the macro and micro more into embodying our Christos Sophia consciousness and service to the all. One must say it has been rather trying, as we are also going through a collective dark night of the soul, since the shift of the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction on the winter solstice, as we moved into the age of Aquarius. So I remind myself while we go through these shifts, that we naturally as divine, universal, Cadmon men, hold the 12D multidimensional light within our field, and we just have to acknowledge it, embrace it, and utilize it when we are doing our light work. We must embrace it into our being when we are acting as conduits and as a bridge between the two timelines. For example, the 12D light, it is the divine blueprint that holds the original intention for the natural order of consciousness evolution within our universal creation. The 12D light field is encoded in the base 12 mechanics of the Christos blueprint that our crystalline bodies are now holding. They are the codes of the eternal Christ principle. 
the eternal life ever flowing into the expansion of one source. This is becoming more powerful as we flow during these ascension cycles within us, internally and externally, acting as the counterbalance of experiencing oneself, I am, in the moment by moment. And we, the awakened Cadmon man, continues to activate the 12 strand DNA imprint within us, flowing the 12 dimensional light through us as conduits through these ascension cycles, then in turn. This then runs through the 12 base frequencies that extend throughout Gaia's crystalline planetary grid, which I must say, as light warriors, we have the potential as a collective light worker to heal the dimensional splitting that has occurred between the organic reality and the distorted matrix reality that is the two timelines and merge into one consistent fifth dimensional timeline continuum so, beloveds, we can continue to do this, so stay strong in your power, stay in your heart's center at all times, don't get caught up in the three-dimensional illusions around you, be centered in oneness within your Christ self, continue to be the conduits that you are, in loving service always, and let's continue to shift humanity into a higher timeline, sending blessings, Rhea, Aurora, Ash, today from Divine Sister of the Light, Dr. Suzanne Lee, meeting our galactic families. Greetings, dear friends and families. We, the members of your galactic family, have asked that our scribe and our scribes, the ones who document our messages, to them and share the messages with other grounded humans, wish to remind you all that we, the members of your galactic family, are grateful for your great advancement in remembering that you are much more than just a human being. More and more humans are beginning to awaken to the fact that they are not just humans. In fact, more and more the members of humanity are beginning to have dreams and imaginations about visiting and or living on higher dimensional starships. These higher dimensional ships have been cloaking themselves so that they can perceive and protect their galactic family members and friends who have taken human form on planet Gaia. These starships, which are usually invisible to the third dimensional humans, have chosen to fly around Earth so that they can be more effectively assisting the humans who are ready or becoming ready to remember their own higher dimensional self. We are able to cloak ourselves in a fashion in which only our own fifth dimensional family members can perceive our ships. Because more and more third dimensional humans are beginning to expand their consciousness into the higher dimensions, there are more and more sightings of our ships. Of course, only the humans who can remember their own higher dimensional expression of self are able to perceive our ships that are protecting Gaia. The reason why we are protecting Gaia's Earth is that Gaia has called to us to assist her to begin her planetary transmutation into the higher frequencies of reality. Of course, only the humans who are ready to accept the fact that there are many higher dimensional beings who have been protecting and checking up on how the brave friends of Gaia are assisting humanity to expand their consciousness. As more and more humans expand their own consciousness enough to be able to believe in, perceive, and remember their own fifth dimensional starships, the fifth dimensional galactics will be able to more openly protect Gaia. At first, the humans will not know what is happening, but as more and more humans remember how to awaken their own fifth dimensional thinking, perceiving, knowing, and remembering, their own higher self will become a constant friend and guide. As more and more third dimensional humans expand their consciousness enough to feel, perceive, and embrace the higher frequencies of reality, the third dimensional concept, and the actions of me first, this is mine, I don't believe that, will begin to transmute into something new and very special that is beginning to occur on Gaia's earth. Then we will be able to meet and shake hands with our own higher dimensional galactic self. Remember, that the Ascended Masters are always with you, from Multidimensions.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh, emotional stability is happening within as you continue on the path of becoming whole. The masculine and feminine within are coming into full, harmonious union, especially in the heart. The trigger reactions of the ego are dissolving quickly through this merger within. Marriage contracts from this and past lives that were blocking our new cycle of love, healthy, healed, and whole, have ended. This is a quick removal from those timelines. You are walking away from these battles and burdens, pure, 
With each step, these past loops become more and more of a distant memory. Transformation is happening now for your ascension into the Holy Grail. The Divine Feminine Christ embodiment within is healing, getting stronger and more powerful. You have already created your bounty, which will continue to ripen as you heal from these past karmic cycles. Retribution is yours and Yahweh's, which you will witness as the blessings of health, wealth, and union hatch. Romans 12.19 Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Release all worries and fears of lack, and give them to Creator to transmute. Change is scary but necessary now. Action may be needed as guided. Venus and Mars together in the sun, highlighted with the Libra full moon, is God's plan to bring great retribution and harvest to Holy Grail unions. It is your birthright to be this powerful and amazing and bright in the face of your enemies. The enemy knows that they have lost through God's chosen now. John 6.51 I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. All praises to the Most High in Jesus Christos name. Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames Today from the Archangelic Calendar Gaia is in Circe's will. Circe, our galaxy, acts upon the infinite universe's will. The current setting element is back in the spirit setting. This macro is complete alignment of Gaia's higher self, and in this modality she is capable of anything and everything. Unlike last time, this stance is not a matter of flexing muscle. It is a part of sweeping waves of change we are currently going through. The massive motions of Shiva... Archangel Mikael have forced an alignment of our physical reality. This is reflected in the jumps in the column positioning of the four adjacent columns and echoed by Ra, our sun. These motions cause a pull to these sun-based energies, and thus we see a synchronous calendar date. Earth magnetic changes are in full swing and we are not just referring to a pole reversal. 5D Engineering and 5D News we are so large that the lower timelines are catching only our error. It is incredible to be on the other side of prayers, but it also highlights the challenges the higher parts of ourselves have when communicating through physical reality. Moses took his tribe through a portal into a new universe, and when all else fails for a timeline, this is a viable option. We have often done this. The most famous would be the one taken in 2012, but the most potent shift has happened much more recently. Archangel Metatron has two broadswords that he uses simultaneously. They have been upgraded after a victorious battle and have an entirely new set of powers. These remind us of Archangel Michael's blades yet different. The similarities are probably because Archangel Michael's influence has been with Metatron since he ascended into his archangelic upgrade. Time crystals are a form of foreign matter which means this is a building block of the universe not yet forged by humanity. These self-generating quantum conundrums exist beyond the boundaries of time and can live on long after physicality dies. Anunnaki will be docking the earth for engineering purposes. This engineering will not look like anything. Gaia's box will look and feel no different. The only way to tell this is the case from an earthly perspective is to look for the sky anomalies. This effort will parallel a more considerable measure to do the same for the solar system. Once out of the dock, a great sense of relief will take over the earth. An individual perspective is round like an energy ball, multidimensional and multifaceted. When approaching any sentient being, the shade of the being you encounter will largely depend upon which angle you come. All beings are capable of all things, but your mental, spiritual, and quantum position will dictate which possibility you will encounter. Philosophical Buffet What emotions fuel your life? Guilt, fear, regret are all places one should not operate from as they foster less than optimal life results. Instead, we can allow love, purpose, compassion, and other positively driven emotions to fuel our efforts and have a much better go at life. Do not be ashamed of how you are. Infinitely expanding Creator Source made you this way for a reason. The reason is all scenarios, persons, and personalities must exist for the sum of the whole. This eclectic experience manifests via our daily lives as the divine sees within our first-hand perspective. 
Refrain from telling others what they are. They will figure it out eventually. To boost this along, speak only to their higher self. Many are running around exploring themselves on the path of self-discovery. This road is a beautiful path, but is not the right level for service in this application. There is no such thing as a simple macro-metaphysical work. Macro work is macro service, not micro exploration. This work is not for the reader. It is worked entirely on behalf of divinity, and it has the freedom to do as it wishes with it. You cannot believe in something only when it's convenient. Otherwise, there is no actual belief. Instead, let us go beyond theology and have a firm sense of knowing. This knowing is apparent by holding the flag of your convictions through all storms. Humans on average have less of an attention span than goldfish. This truth means that most people cannot focus long enough to get through this report. What chance do they have to wield enough focus to work metaphysically? If you are hearing this, your gifts are extraordinary. In the physical, no one is your enemy and no one is your friend. The higher parts of yourself design this reality. There is nothing beyond grand design. The impulses inside of yourself dictate who, what, where, when, and why. The sources of these impulses are easing and thus a more practical reality will emerge. Honesty with yourself is essential when you go entirely non-physical. You will need to face the truth of if you gave it your all or not. This notion is not the same as judgment. This is the bar you set before coming here and your standards will hold you. Be honest with yourself and your efforts because you have succeeded if you are truthful. Win, lose, or draw. Ever wonder what's beyond the multiverse? There is much, and it would be an injustice to describe it to you here. Look for yourself. Selfishness must cease. Compassion, empathy, and consideration must take over. You can't sign up for a test and be angry when the trial begins. The tools and assignments are in the link in the description below. This is from the ArchangelicCalendar.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Mercury in Pisces, semi-sextile Saturn in Aquarius, and semi-square Pluto in Capricorn. Mars in Gemini, sesquiquadrant Pluto in Capricorn. The atmosphere is skittery, tense, nervous. The mind roams through all possibilities. Here are opportunities. There are dangers. What is right? What is wrong? Ideas run around or sink like a stone. Some realizations float to the surface. Testy truths ripple into view. Our inner warrior sweats under pressure, determines that something must be done, and we're tempted to take immediate action to avert some imagined disaster manufactured in the mind. Hold that thought. The chances are that our decisions are skewed by fear and the desire to wrestle for control. Wait. This is a time to sit with fear and uncertainty. Observe quietly. Open a dialogue between you and your shadow self. Talk with a therapist or friend or purge thoughts onto a journal page. Trust that you can find your way when the time is right. Listen to your inner voice and let your intuition inform your choices. Stare gently with your soul. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times Kin 99 Blue Galactic Storm 3737 Coming in 1010 Portal The first portal to my sacred condor Kin 99, Blue, Galactic Storm. Galactic is the name for the number 8 and its keywords are harmony, integrity, and model. The 8th day of a wave spell is always gentle and this number is easy to get along with. It tones down any day it is combined with. Today is Blue Storm and its keywords are self-generation, energy, and catalyze. Stormy days are usually disruptive, depending of course on when it occurs. When storm falls on the 8th day, which is a harmonious energy. This calms the storm down and the changes it brings are more helpful and less destructive. Change through harmony. So no storms and teacups today, but gentler forces facilitating change with less resistance. You won't get blown away today, but may find something nice happens out of the blue. The guide today is the blue knight, the dreamer of the Zolkin, and a great guiding force, because like the number eight, the blue knight has gentle energy. Dreams guide our actions today, and this leads to pleasant changes. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Galactic Storm, Kin 99, 23 March 2021, Modeling Transformation, 23-3-2021 equal 23-3-23 equal 5-3-5 equal 5-8 equal 13 equal 4. 
23. The Royal Star of the Lion. Support, Protection, Grace. 5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. 8. Infinite, Abundant, Source Flow. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. Kin 99. Is 9 plus 9 equal 18 equal 9? Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace. A catalytic day for great transformation with a divine 535 liberation code. Day 8 in the yellow human wave spell of wisdom, influence, intelligence, free will, and abundance. Today we integrate all the energies that we have been catalyzed through allowing the transformative energies to purify and cleanse us, particularly in regards to our mental processes, facilitating greater wisdom and uninterrupted pathways to abundance. Tone of Creation, Galactic Tone 8 in the Mental Realm, Action Modeling, Power Harmonize, Essence, Integrity. The Galactic Tone will influence much mental analysis today. The most important factor is that we model integrity in our thoughts, words, and actions. Are our intentions based on harmony through integrity of being? Our plans need to be transparent and for the highest good of our community and planet for them to hold up in these new energies. Anything that is not congruent with these higher principles will be revealed in order to be transformed and harmonized. Our projects and business models will then serve as a model for others following in our footsteps who hold the ideals of unity, peace, and harmony as a priority. At Tone 8, we have entered a new scale, and we are so proud. We just have to model ourselves for others. We have also mastered harmony at this stage. We are galactic, and don't we know it. Goddess Abundantia, the Roman goddess of abundance, who holds the cornucopia, the horn of plenty, is ready to be of heavenly assistance today. Prayer to Goddess Abundantia for abundance and prosperity. Beautiful Abundantia, I desire to be confident and filled with faith that my supply is already met in all ways. I surrender and clear any blocks or impediments to my continuous flow of heavenly abundance. I am now open to receive all forms of abundance from expected and unexpected sources, trusting that I am always supported by heaven. I now open my arms so that heaven may easily help me. Thank you for all your guidance, gifts, and protection, divine gratitude for everything that I have and will graciously receive. I am truly grateful. I am abundant, joyful, and fulfilled. I let go and allow the divine to meet all my earthly needs now and in the future. And so it is. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take down these false walls and step into the Garden of Eden. Our new state of being is abundantia, and collective prosperity draws closer each day. The new QFS quantum financial system is fairer and equitable with true abundance for all, and this means the end to the false Babylonian debt slavery system created by the ignorant and the stupidity of the false projection of the dark, the shadow self, into reality to create a slavery system based on greed, fear, and separation, then we are resolving this perfectly in the unborn mind of Buddha, which is our true nature, which is love, which is the light of source. Today's question is, what do I need to release in order to catalyze more energy, allowing abundance to flow freely? Divine blessings for the stupendous flow of infinite goodies today. Let's tear down those damn walls and let the universal waters flow. <laughs> And La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 99, Blue, Galactic Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I harmonize in order to catalyze, modeling energy, I seal the matrix of self-generation. With the galactic tone of integrity, I am guided by the power of abundance. And on this powerful day of divine abundance and divine will, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, 
primedisclosure.com. I'd like to thank everyone for supporting us on this mission and supporting our channel here and helping us financially through pledges on Patreon and donations through PayPal. I'd like to thank Divine Angel of Delight, Sugar Free, for raising your pledge on Patreon. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us to be able to keep continuing this work and bringing these messages to the world, we're about halfway to where we need to be on our pledges for our daily living expenses. We're living off of savings and other sources right now, so we appreciate all of you for your continued support. And if you'd like to help us keep bringing these messages to the world daily, please make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Uh, we also have a link in the description below if you'd like to make a one-time donation through PayPal. We'd like to also thank all of you supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. She has several new totems and a couple beautiful works of art, some healing bracelets, and a couple handmade beautiful wool purses for divine goddesses out there. Anyone that feels and sees the beauty and the divine codes are encoded into everything that my Magdalene goddess creates by her beautiful hands. So you can support her and her business at lunagoddessart.com. And now, beloved beings of light, another Gnostic, Gnosis transmission from the knowledge of source that you, beloved beings of light, that you that are listening now, that are hearing these words, are a bodhisattva that never needed to take a vow. We came back, we returned for this final mission, 37 into the 73, of manifesting heaven on earth for all living beings. We are ascended masters that returned for this final mission of transforming this realm, this field, this timeline, into paradise, into heaven on earth. We call it eternal bliss consciousness, or the pure land of the West, the pure land of Amitabha, Amida Buddha, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu. And we will end today's transmission from Divine Bro Star of the Huna Nation, Li Parare, Lady of Light, Bright Star, Torch of Liberty, Anchoring Galactic Light, Disillusion Waves, Ground Zero, Pegasi Nexus System. Time now to stand our ground. Know thy enemy is fabricated war. Restore humanity's moral compass. Dark to light, cosmic shift. Political masks exposed fraud. Divine harmonic interplay. Distortions crumbling. Orion belt upgrade. Republic transforming. Abolish tyranny, fraudulent bankers. Protect the family, gender, race. Allow our kids to express their souls. Nature's remedy is health immunity. Life is electric driven by sunlight. Food is medicine when seeded right. Stop poisoning land, water, sky. Use AI to assist, not hinder life. Deactivate the weaponized biodome. Seek to add value, not power. Become towers of celestial light. Living vibrations of truth and love. Stop being cowards, no fear. Road ahead is up to us all. Freedom of assembly choice, cosmic migration, potentiality, heart's resonance, right relations, many in the one, one in the many, light in action, heavenly realms, continuum waveform expansion, none lost at sea when we rise, lady of light, three obelisks, New York City, golden harmonic frequency, metagalactic avatars. Note, Statue of Liberty was originally a magnificent copper. Footnote, Whore of Zion, Code 666, Kill Shot. And there we have it, in this time of liberty, this is the liberation of all souls, all consciousness, into divine, sovereign freedom. We have activated the freedom codes, we have activated the love codes of the Magdalene lineage, and the freedom of the Christos, the truth of the Christos, here now, through the sacred vessel, I am here now in this body where I always am, the body of Christos, the body of the cosmos, the body of the Tao, the Tao in motion, which is the I am presence here now. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life here now. I am the transfiguration. I am the transmutation. 
I am here, I am there, and I am everywhere. I am that I am. There is no separation in truth, in reality. We experience separation to experience ourselves and to love that which is a resonating mirror of our true nature, our true self, so we can see, experience, feel, taste, and touch with our senses to experience all dimensions, all timelines, and all realms through the sacred vessel, the host of hosts of pure consciousness here now. Have a beautiful and blessed awakening. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.